our society was built on two instances of massive historical trauma, near genocide of indigenous peoples and enslavement of African people. Everything about our society is shaped by those two types of historical trauma. That includes the field of mental health. It includes how we work with people, how we understand people. We look at many juvenile legal systems across the country. It is consists of predominantly black and brown young men. There's something at the core of that, like why this disproportionality exists. And it, it really is something that has to be looked at. I think a lot of systems shy away from doing that because it can be a difficult conversation, but it's a necessary conversation. There has to be an acknowledgement of this disproportionality to realize as a system some of our failures. A lot of times people in our field, when they think about trauma, the focus is on individuals and on what happened to them as individuals and how they function as individuals. And that's a very Eurocentric way of thinking about people. Everything is built on slavery. You have more value if you look like me than if you look like most of the people I work with. You're considered more fully human. Someone going to school to learn to be a psychologist or a psychiatrist or, or a social worker, how would they not be influenced by that? Every diagnosis we have, every policy and procedure that we have in our system, it's all built in this context. And there are economic drivers for everything. Two of the big economic drivers in our field are the prison industrial complex and pharmaceutical industry. There's an intersection between the pharmaceutical industrial complex, the educational industrial complex, the nonprofit industrial complex, and even the, of course, criminal industrial complex. So you have diagnoses that is 500,000 pages long. Those diagnoses then allow you to get whatever kind of services that are very short term. Prior to psychology, we had a plethora of different ways that we healed each other. We are wired to, to do whatever we can do to function as though the trauma never happened. That's one reason why genocide and slavery are taboo. If we're going to deal with them, we have to actively work to overcome that need to pretend. There should be equity work that's being done. There should be work of anti-racism that's being done. It's important to not only move it within our system, but just to assure that all systems that are connected and touch the same kids are doing the same work because if not, we'll find ourselves in the same space. Those of us um, who go to professional conferences should have an array of different symposium or panels to choose from that help us second guess the way we do things. The Committee on Results for Equity or CORE, which exists within Cook County Juvenile Probation, was created in approximately 2016. I think initially when this committee started, it was really just sitting with one another as probation family and really having conversations around race, around how it shows up in both our personal and professional lives. Like many systems like ours, it's not something we had ever done. We have been able to mandate equity and anti-racism training for all of our sworn probation staff. There needs to be more connection between school and practicum sites in terms of that link to training. I also am personally a fan of doing training that is focused more on depth than breadth. I think it's to the best interest of the therapist and the individual to really specialize in areas while always incorporating diversity, equity, and inclusion. And just some other things that we've done is actually beginning to look at department policies, um, utilizing a lens that is trauma-informed, equitable, um, and anti-racist, and determining what we need to do as a jurisdiction to rewrite policy and ensure that we are amplifying youth and family voice uh, when this is done. If we see you know, inequitable or racist treatment happening, towards youth and families that we need to really lean in and call out and call forward our coworkers who, you know, who are doing that and hold one another to a much higher standard.